How do computers handle negative numbers? Computers are simple. They understand binary and that's about it. We know that counting in binary is simple. Each bit represents a specific number. If that bit is turned on, we count that number as on. For example, 0110 is 6. That is because the third bit, which represents 4, and the second bit, which represents 2, are both turned on. So that leaves us with 6. What about 1111? Everything is turned on, so if we count this all up, we get 15. But how can we get a negative number out of this? Let's say that this first digit here is our negative sign. So if this is 1, that means our number is negative. If I rewrite this as 1001, we can think that this is negative 1. Let's try and do math with this. We'll do 1001 plus 0010. This would be negative 1 plus 2. We expect the end result to be 0001, but instead we actually get negative 3. This does not add up to real world logic, so let's approach this differently. Currently, 0000 and 1000 would both be 0, so that is a waste of a bit. Let's shift the numbers to be 1000 is actually negative 1, and 1001 is negative 2, and so on and so forth. If we do math with this, we still get a larger negative number when adding a positive and a negative number together. We are closer, but not quite there. So how about we try counting backwards? So instead of 1000 being negative 1, it is actually negative 8, and 1001 is negative 7, and so on. Let's do math with this. Let's try negative 2 plus 4. We are left with 0010, which is 2. This worked. This is what's called 2's complement. Almost every computer uses 2's complement to handle negative numbers. It's actually quite neat, so let's look at another example. Negative 3 plus 7. When we solve this, we're actually one bit longer. So the answer is 5 bits long. If we made a 4-bit computer, this 5th bit has to be thrown away. We just use this concept to our advantage. This is why we use the leftmost bit, as it will always be our largest bit. If you also noticed, we are utilizing all of our bits. This is still 15 numbers that we can count. It's now just half negative and half positive. If you'd like to convert a positive number to a negative number, it's only two steps. Let's do this with the number 4, 0, 1, 0, 0. First, you invert every bit in the number. So 0, 1, 0, 0 is now 1, 0, 1, 1. Lastly, you add 1 to this value, 1, 1, 0, 0. This is negative 4. It is important to understand how this works so that we can make our computer do this in the future. I guess that's it. I'll see you on day 21.